Lesson 8. A Life with Purpose. From Lost to Purposeful. Greetings, and welcome back to our educational journey on lessons and habits that lead to a grand life. What does living a grand life really mean? Is it about having sufficient wealth to never stress about paying bills? Or is it about having ample time to spend with your loved ones? Perhaps it's about the freedom to explore the world? At the core of all these aspects lies a sense of purpose. Buying things, spending time with people, and visiting new places gives you a reason to be enthusiastic about your day. Often, we mistakenly view having a purpose as a monumental, world-altering action that only a select few can achieve. However, it's truly about what ignites passion within you. Ironically, it appears that we don't actually know what brings us happiness. We believe we do, but when we examine the data, it narrates a different tale. Studies reveal that we are happiest when we have a purpose, and our purpose is derived from investing in others. This brings us to habit number eight, investing in others. Let's delve into the how and why. Michael Norton, a psychologist and professor of business administration at Harvard University, collaborated with fellow social psychologist Elizabeth Dunn to write the book, Happy Money. The book outlines five core principles, backed by research, that can lead to happiness and fulfillment. Although Michael's primary focus was on happiness for consumers and employees, it became evident that successful business practices could be adapted to benefit individuals. Consequently, Happy Money examines how you can derive greater happiness from your own money. Michael introduced the term IKEA effect, which refers to the satisfaction people derive from participating in the creation of a product. We might grumble about IKEA's instruction manuals and numerous components, but the sense of accomplishment we experience after assembling an IKEA product far exceeds what we would feel if we simply purchased the item outright. Michael and Elizabeth discuss the positive impact of investing in experiences rather than material possessions. They emphasize the value of spending money on something you can anticipate, like a vacation, and of spending money on others. Consider this. You might buy yourself a coffee every day, providing a brief moment of happiness. However, if you spontaneously buy a coffee for the person behind you in line, the resulting satisfaction is more profound and long-lasting. This is the focus of Habit 8, investing in other people. This concept aligns with another significant study on happiness, the Harvard Study of Adult Development. Launched in 1938, this is the longest scientific study on happiness ever conducted. The study followed individuals from their teenage years into old age. Robert Waldinger, a professor of psychiatry at Harvard, currently oversees the study and authored a book called The Good Life, where he explores the factors that shape our satisfaction in life. When the study asked participants in their 80s about their proudest accomplishments and deepest regrets, people generally cited their relationships, friendships, and marriages as sources of pride. Money and accolades were rarely mentioned. The study concluded that people are happiest when they invest in things beyond themselves. Two separate experts, with different studies, concur that investing in people whether with your money or time, is crucial to living a purposeful, happy life. Think of it this way. You could spend $60 on a single dinner for yourself or use the same amount to sponsor a child's lunch for an entire month. Numerous charities offer opportunities for you to contribute a monthly stipend, and while it's not an investment that returns monetary value, the life satisfaction you gain is priceless. Despite the media promoting tribalism, our genuine feelings of group belonging are far stronger. Unfortunately, we often rely on and trust media more than our fellow humans. Remember, life is a game of luxury, and in many ways, it isn't always that serious. We don't require boundless wealth or extravagant comforts. If you spent your life chasing these things only to find yourself alone in your penthouse in your 80s, surrounded by insincere friends and estranged from your children, the harsh reality of the game comes crashing down, and it's too late. If every study on the subject asserts that investing in people is the key to purpose and happiness, why not give it a shot? In truth, it's the simplest habit in this learning pack. Invest your money in people you may not know, and your time in those you do. It's not about showering people with money to gain friends. That's not how it works. It's about doing so deliberately and with purpose. It's about recognizing the difference your actions make in their lives and your own. If you want to wake up every day with a sense of purpose, start by scheduling a dinner date with the friend you previously canceled on, or by sponsoring a child or family with school supplies or weekly meals. Small steps in the life theory, small steps toward a grand purpose. By cultivating these habits, you'll realize that genuine happiness and purpose come from investing in others and nurturing meaningful relationships. 
The experiences and connections you create with people will enrich your life far more than material possessions ever could. So, make the conscious choice to invest in others and, in turn, invest in your own happiness and fulfillment. Embrace these small habits and watch as they lead you to a grand, purposeful life in your life theory.